Hey, this is Matt Terrell with Justin Doyle Homes here to talk about the next phase of your construction, which is framing. So now that you're through foundation, you'll notice that the framing package was delivered on site, all ready for the framers to start their phase. They'll start with the exterior walls first, then put the trusses on, and then move into the home with the interior walls and stair case, as well as the subfloor. You'll see the house behind me, which we're just about finished with framing. We've done the exterior, we've done the roof, we actually put the roof shingles on, and they even moved into the windows as well. All those are different elements that you'll notice as part of the framing phase of your job. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, as we're inside this home that's in framing phase, there's a few things I wanna talk through. Site safety, so if you're ever on site, keep in mind this is a construction site. Sometimes your wood could have exposed nails. There might be material on site that's left over as scrap. And sometimes your staircase may not even be installed yet. So be very careful if you're ever on site during the framing phase. <laughs> Through the framing phase, we'll have multiple inspections where the county is gonna come out and make sure, make sure that things are installed per code for your home. One other thing to expect is towards the end of your uh, framing phase, about 90% finished, you'll see your HVAC contractor come on site because there's some runs in the lower level typically that would need to be installed and then some framing work beyond that. And then towards the end of that, you'll have your final framing punch. And that's where your project manager will walk through your home, measure your doors and your windows, make sure that everything is exactly to plan and if he sees anything that's off, he'll create a punch list or a framing punch and then invite the framer back on site to remedy those or fix those oversights. And that's called the framing punch. And you'll see that towards the end of your uh, framing phase. And we'll talk through a few more things to expect as well. All right, a few things to expect through framing phase of your construction. As you see behind me is we're open to the elements. This door is not in yet, so there could be some rain or snow that comes into this home. And through the framing phase, which takes several weeks, you will get some of those into your home. If the roof's not on, it could snow or rain. Just know that we have the best products that you can put into a home that are made to withstand the elements, but also be phenomenal construction products for the end result of your home. Uh, other things to notice is that you'll have penetration points on the exterior walls of your home. Those will be remedied by your project manager as they walk through, and then obviously the exterior materials that would cover those points as well. And then through the framing phase, you'll have multiple inspections where the county sends the inspector out and they'll inspect the home to make sure it is up to code and built to their satisfaction as well as ours. One last thing to note is changes in timing. If you have any change orders through this process, it could dramatically affect the timing or the completion of your home. Um, so make sure that you're completing those if necessary. Um, but at some point you're gonna reach the point where you can't do a change order because we're through framing. So just keep those things in mind. And lastly, as, as we walk through and move through framing, is to contact your project manager with any questions that you might have. They're on site, so they're the, the team member that's gonna make sure that this home is built to your plans, to your satisfaction. So have, if you have any questions, just reach out directly to them. Framing is one of the most exciting points of any project, so enjoy it. Uh, and we, if you walk through the project, just make sure to be very careful at the job site.